Welcome to this special report on COVID-19, brought to you by CNA TV. Welcome to the NACA COVID-19 report. I'm your host, Dane Henning. The Department of Health and Human Services on Tuesday announced the distribution of $15 billion in coronavirus relief funding to Medicaid providers that have not yet received any such payment. The additional funding will be distributed to eligible Medicaid and Children's Health Insurance Program providers, HHS said on Tuesday. Additionally, the agency announced that an enhanced portal is available for providers starting today that allows them to report their annual patient revenue, which determines their payment amount. The agency explained that, quote, HHS has already provided relief funding to over 1 million providers, and today's announcement is expected to reach several hundred thousand more providers, many of whom are safety net providers operating on thin margins. About 62% of all Medicaid and CHIP providers have received relief funding and distribution is expected to cover the remaining 38%. The funding release comes after lawmakers last week urged the department to quickly distribute COVID-19 relief funding to Medicaid providers following the delays. In May, in a separate payout, the federal government disbursed $4.9 billion to nursing homes. The funding equates to about $50,000 per facility. That's a baseline of $50,000 per facility plus another $2,500 per bed. In other coronavirus-related news, CMS announced guidance for resuming in-person care options at healthcare facilities as COVID-19 cases decline. The guidance calls for the optimization of telehealth and that non-emergent non-COVID care should be offered to patients in facilities that have resources to provide the care. CMS said that, quote, during the height of the pandemic, many healthcare systems and patients postponed non-emergency in-person care to, in order to keep patients and providers safe and to ensure capacity to care for COVID-19 patients. And that as states and regions across the United States see a decline in cases of COVID-19, CMS is providing these recommendations to ensure that non-emergency healthcare resumes safely and that patients are receiving needed in-person treatment that may, be, may have been postponed due to the public health emergency. The recommendations are specifically for facilities in areas that have reached phase two of the federal government's reopening guidelines. Thank you very much for joining us on this COVID-19 report, and we'll see you next time.